So here it is, the ultra simplistic, extremely easy to use Earthworks piano mic setup. I should start by saying that the piano is one of the most difficult instruments in the world to record because of its number one dynamic range, but also its, its range from bottom to top, um, exceeding that of basically any instrument. And with that, there's also the physical space. So you've got to worry about phase. Um, you've got to worry about the balance between your lows and your highs if you're using a stereo microphone technique. And you have to worry about your room. And a lot of microphones won't allow you to get close enough to the instrument without exhibiting a horrible proximity effect. You really don't have to worry about any of those things with these amazing Earthworks piano microphone setup. Whether you're a complete novice or a, or a very veteran engineer and looking to benefit from the quick setup that these microphones offer, this is a really brilliant brilliant microphone design for recording pianos of all kinds. I should also say that this is exactly how it comes right out of the box and it includes this really ingenious little adapter box. It takes the one cable and provides you two very standard XLR outputs. Um, all you got to do is feed it 48 volt phantom power and you're off to the races and literally out of the box you can have a great sounding piano recording in minutes. And that's true whether or not the lid's up or closed. There's just no piano microphone system that I'm aware of, or microphones in general, that can make that claim. The Earthworks piano microphone system is derived from the same sort of great technology that their time coherent omnidirectional microphone series is, the famous QTC40 microphones that you've probably seen our acoustic guitar video on. They're neutral and flat and detailed and accurate all the way out to 40K and they don't have a proximity effect which means they can get this close to the strings and not get boomy or muddy or you know, have a lot of low end saturation. So what we've done is place the microphones in what Earthworks considers to be the standard setup. So this is pretty much exactly outside of the box at what you could do. And that's simply separating the piano into thirds using the microphones. We've used the Earthworks 1024 mic preamp, which is extremely clean and accurate. So you can really hear what these microphones are doing on our piano. What's so spectacular about this Earthworks piano microphone system is it really does sound like the instrument you put these microphones in front of. And, that's, and it holds true whether the lid's up or down. They also, because of their neutrality, take extremely well to any sort of production tools you want to add, be it reverb or EQ, or if you just want to add a more colored and more saturated sounding mic preamp. So in this particular case, we've chosen a Sebatron tube mic preamp and we've dialed it up to get a little tube coloration into it, just so you can hear the subtle differences between what we were doing before with the Earthworks clean and accurate preamp to the Sevatron, which is also very detailed and accurate, but provides a lot of warmth and detail as well. So let's take a listen.
So now what I've done is close the lid on the piano with the mics inside, completely closed um, the main lid as well as the front lid compartment. And what you normally get in a lid closed situation when miking a, an acoustic piano is a very congested, very boxy sound. But what's really amazing about these earthworks is because they exhibit no proximity effect whatsoever, we can put the microphones right over the top of the strings. They don't get boomy. And actually, in that positioning, these incredibly detailed microphones have the amazing ability to capture a lot of information across the full range of the instrument without the typical artifacts you get out of every other kind of microphone. So what I'll do now is go ahead and play a little bit with the lid closed, and then we'll go ahead and play you a whole segment when I've added a little EQ and reverb, and that's really what you expect to do. I mean, the purpose of closing the lid is to isolate the acoustic instrument from other instruments, either in a live setting or in a studio recording session where you've got a lot of other instruments in the room with the instrument and you want it isolated, but you then are gonna go back and produce a more finished sound than you might otherwise get with the lid down. While I'd always prefer to have the lid up and get the open air of a great sounding room, sometimes that's not always the case. So this might very well be the best microphone system for a lid closed situation.